FYI, I was saying like dumb and stupid a lot in my other videos. The ones that I was wearing the felt that, so, you know, the other one. And I'm sorry, children, I try really hard not to say dumb or stupid, mainly because I feel like it hurts people's feelings and I was called dumb and stupid a lot through my first major, like, marriage, whatever. I was gonna say major relationship, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> my first major marriage and now I'm in my better nice amazing marriage um, <laughs> where he does not call me dumb and stupid we just have other silly nicknames for each other anyways yeah I always feel like I need to do a disclaimer like I shouldn't say those words because I'm trying to teach my kids not to and I'm trying to be a good person even though it's like I'm usually failing most of the time um, but anyways about these shorts they're actually and they're from um, Grand Rapids Community College, <laughs> which is so funny because, let me tell you, as a poor college student, I was going to Grand Rapids Community College, okay, and I thought it was so cool that I was actually, <laughs> that I was actually going to college that I had to buy something from there. And I was like, what can I buy from the store? Everything was so stinking expensive. I'm like, I'm a poor college student who is just like making sure that I can pay for parking and making sure that I can buy all the books that are required that are so flipping expensive and I'm just like wanting to cry. And then I'm like, what can I buy in the store that actually has like their logo on it or their words on it saying like, I go to college. So I found these boxers on clearance and like a really tight, um, like flannelly shirt that had GRCC on it or whatever. I'm like so proud of it for so long. So I've had these for like decades and decades. They're little like dudes boxers that I just wear as shorts because I was a proud college student. That's all I ever bought from there. I kind of wish I would have bought some other cool stuff. Oh no, I had a keychain. I had a keychain that I put on like on my belt loop of jeans one day and like my mom was making fun of me and she's like, well, you're really proud, aren't you? Yeah, mom, I am proud. I made it to community college after being homeschooled most of my life, feeling like a complete idiot in the world, not knowing what kind of grades I got, not knowing like <laughs> what two plus two is, and then going to a Christian school who was like not even accredited. And then 10 years later, we find out they like just like randomly selected our grades and like failed some people and gave some people an A that like didn't need it or like not that they didn't need it they didn't like earn it kind of thing so yes I was proud that I went to college yes I was proud that I got pretty good grades because come to find out I don't even know what kind of grade I got in high school or if they were even accurate I don't know I was getting like really good grades in this one dude's class let's just say I don't think it was for the right reasons I'm just telling you I don't think it was for the right reasons at all but one guy's class no matter the class if he was in it I was getting A plus pluses like A plus pluses, extra credit and all. And the other grades, I was just like, failing away. <laughs> fail away with me, fail away, come fail away. Yeah, I was just like failing stuff that I never even knew until I was an adult later on and I looked back on my old paperwork. I was, I was like, why is this so close to my face? Anyways, um, yeah. So that, that's, that explains my shorts. Just like real quick changed. Oh, by the way, I'm like such a good wife. I gave my husband a massage after I went to work. Short, short, shorty shift, of course. But dropped the kids off, went to work. Then after work, it was a blizzard. I mean, it was a blizzard when I got there. So I was like, oh my God, this is scary. I hate driving. I hate weather. I hate any weather. I just hate things. I hate doing things. I hate going places. And so I dropped the kids off after school. Like pick them up from school, drop them off at their dad's. Mm -hmm. And they're all nervous and sad, whatever, that's like sidetracked. But yeah, go drop them off, then go to work, then get out of work. Be so scared, I don't wanna go, like I don't wanna drive. And then I go to Walmart, get all our groceries, blah, 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 for the week. And then this dude sidetracked for a second before I even get, okay, I'm a major people pleaser. And therefore, when a dude is talking to me, I go into like, please mode and like, retail mode because I've been in it for so long I immediately go into like I'm a nice person mode okay which goes back to the disclaimer like I am not perfect I get angry at stupid things like I'm a really annoyed person um it's just part of like I don't know the way I was born <laughs> partly the way I was raised but mostly the way I was born I'm just like annoyed at people and they get like under my skin really easy but when I'm in my like profesh mode and I'm like trying to serve the public, whatever. 
I get, I'm just like automatically nice. I don't even care what they're saying. I'm okay. You know, I'm like super nice. So I was doing a Walmart tonight, like literally tonight, like an hour ago. He sees me first and just says, hey, how's it going? How you doing? I'm like, good. Like he's just passing an aisle. I'm in one aisle, like the bread aisle or something or something. And he's walking around with a cane, but really well walking. Not like he really needs it. He's just walking with a cane, whatever. It's just something I noticed. And he's just like, hey, how's it going? Good. And then later he sees me again and he's walking behind me, just talking loud. He's like one of those loud, obnoxious people that I'm just like, okay, I'm just staying in my bubble. You stay in yours, whatever. Um, so then He's mumbling something from behind me, and I'm like reading the ingredients of this sweet Chinese thing that looks like an ice cream bucket, but it's Chinese food, and I was like, I'm getting this. Everything I bought today is like for the kids or my husband, so like I'm getting this one thing for myself because it's Chinese food that looks like an ice cream thing. I don't really like ice cream, but I love Chinese food, so I was like, perfect. And <laughs> so this guy's like mumbling something. I'm not paying attention. I'm in my own world, like whatever. Just got out of work like I don't have to pay attention to you and then he's like oh sorry I thought you were texting and walking and I was like okay and I just like smile at him like hey right. and he keeps walking and then keeps talking he's like oh dude I would pick you up if you were something something if you fell or something and I was like why don't you pick me up if I fell like thank you that's that's nice thank you for doing that I don't okay <laughs> so I just like laugh and smile along like I know what he's talking about but I really don't know because you know smooth brain everything he's saying is like I don't know what you're saying I don't understand like I, if he's talking too fast and mumbling then I don't really hear everything and he could be saying like the worst thing ever and I have no idea so I'm just smiling okay thank you that's nice and then like processing as I'm like trying to walk away and finish my shopping um and then I see him again I run into him sadly while I'm leaving like the main aisles and I'm going down, you know, next to like the women's clothes and the groceries are over here. And I'm like going down and he's like meeting me in the aisle, you know, like one of those mute cute things. And he's just like, yes, another opportunity to talk to this girl that I don't know. And I'm like, hey, and so we're just walking together for a long time, awkwardly. And I'm like, I'm making eye contact because I just got out of work. So I'm in a work brain and I'm still in my uniform and I have like my work coat on. And so it's like when you're in your uniform, you know, you kind of like have your work brain on. And when you're in a store, especially, I just go into retail mode and I'm just like automatically friendly and nice. I'm like, yeah, okay. And he's like, oh man, you're shopping for the whole week, huh? Well, I only shop every three days and blah, blah, blah. Like I like getting out and going places. I was like, yeah, I don't really like going places. And I was so happy to be able to tell someone that <laughs> because I was just talking about how I wish I could be more blunt. I wish I could say what I wanted. and. You know, I don't really like doing things. And so I got to say that to someone like, yeah, I don't really like going places. And he just laughs and whatever and judging me because I'm buying a lot of crap. And I'm like, bro, I have like a five people in my family, okay? And I'm trying to make it last because like, I, it's snowing now, it's a blizzard out. And I'm thinking ahead of time, like I don't freaking even want to go to the store at all. I don't want to ever leave my house. So I'm like trying to plan ahead so that I have enough nudes and enough chicken nuggies and all the stuff that we need to eat, okay? For like a while and blah. So yeah, and then I was like, okay, this dude is just like too much. Then all of a sudden, as I'm leaving, his freaking cane is with the worker lady. The Walmart lady. Like, why was he walking around with a cane? And then all of a sudden it gets left behind. And then I'm curious, like, what? Why was he walking with that thing? Did he need sympathy? Like, did he just find it? He was looking for the owner the whole time. And that's why I kept running into him is because he was searching for, like, the cane owner. And he was just being a good citizen. But I had it in my mind. Like, if he approached me again, was all weird. I was going to be like... I was just gonna put on my Brookie brain, which is my sister, and when she had a run in with a guy at a gas station, she was like, respectfully, sir, F off. <laughs> and that made me laugh really hard. So I really wanted to use that on him because I've never really done that. And I don't think I could have, I don't know. But I really wanted to like <laughs> be that brave to say that. I was like, oh I would be so scared because I'm such a people pleaser. So yeah, tonight just like reminded me that I need to get more of like, I need to switch it to where when I'm not in like that safe of a place 
I need to switch it to like a mean girl mode, like get my fake nails on. Switch it to more like, bruh, I'm not approachable. But no, here's me like, oh, hey, like, I just act like I've, I've known him forever. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. I don't know why he's like running into me three times and saying like, hey, I'd, I'd pick you up if I was something about his hat. And I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying to me right now. I don't know. <sighs> Especially when people mumble, man. It's like a foreign language to me when people are mumbling. My boss does it a lot and I feel stupid because he'll just over the radio be like, hey, Brianna, blah, 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 blah. Here's a joke for you. And I'm like, what? I don't, I'm so sorry, but I have to say what, like five times and I feel like an old lady because I can't hear them. Mainly, 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 <laughs> mainly because he's mumbling and talking super fast. And I'm like, I can only process like one or one and a half words a minute. So I need you to like slow it down, stop mumbling, speak more clearly. And let me catch up on your little riddle that you got me like trying to think about. So like, tell me radio, radio riddles. And I'm like, hold on. One, it was staticky. Two, you're too fast. Three, you're mumbling. So I don't ever know. Like, I don't know what your duck and, and horse riddle is all about. So just like, give me two seconds. And that's how I felt when this dude was like talking to me at Walmart. <sighs> thankfully, I'm alive. And thankfully, I made it through the freaking blizzard that I hate driving through. And we're not supposed to say freaking in this house. So don't tell my husband. Because he might be mad. <laughs> but I was good wife. Gave him a massage, but ow, before he went to sleep. This hurt my hip. This is very uncomfortable like this. I don't know. This is a cool way to sit while I'm making a video, but <laughs> it's really dumb. Okay, goodbye.